take my daughter also along with you. 10th and 11th class. Today, if they see a boy going, they would tell your daughter not to go now. <laughs> From street dog to street lambs. Street dogs are nuisance to society. The street lamps shed light to the society. Second incident was a millionaire from Calcutta. Again, that gentleman I know personally. He told Swami in interview room, Swami, my son, he is out of control. Please do something. Swami normally would not interfere. And he will say that is between me and him. You don't have to recommend anybody's. Swami just blessed him. Okay, you, I will see. I will call him. Don't worry. Because he cried genuinely. This father came multi-billionaire. He had known his son all the time parting, drugs and everything and everything. So his father came and he just gave him the book of Satyam Shyam Sundaram. That I know what you are doing is wrong, but I cannot tell you anything. At least listen to me, read one page every day, like every father, every wife, every parent wants. He just, just to please his father, he kept his book. And then that night he was going to party, big party. Maybe a girl of his choice was also attend, to attend that party. He was in very high mood. But before he was leaving, he got again a phone call that the party is cancelled due to some reasons and he got frustrated. Of course, he did not break anything, but he got frustrated like every young man getting frustrated when their desires and their dreams are not fulfilled. Now what to do? Just because he was having no job and something had happened in some family of his friends, so there was no chance that anybody would come to him at 12 o'clock night. So just to pass time, he just saw the book of Swami and randomly again opened. And he found Swami's dialogue with him as if his friend is speaking to him. Your real friend is God. All these friends are like frogs in the tank. So long as there is water, they will come. The moment the tank goes dry, they will leave without leaving their address. He went on reading and reading. He became so loving. And by the time he has finished his book, he came to his father's room and asked, Who is this? I want to go. I want to go to Puttaparthi. Next day he was in Puttaparthi. He lived in Puttaparthi. I met him. He used to be in Portico, always standing at the opposite door of Swami's interview room. He lived there for many, many, many years. Totally changed. You can't believe that this is a boy that who used to be on drugs, heavy drugs and drinks and everything. This is how divinity works. This is how love works. Love is divinity. Divin love is God. God is love. At least in our own selfish interest. Let us bring light of love sufficiently enough in our hearts and in our minds and this God is here to give that love, that light to us. He is the source and He is inviting us, come. I have come to light the lamp. Just keep your door open. I will come. Sometimes even He will break open the door. Like it came in my dream, come to Puttaparthi. He broke open the door. I never invited him also. There are millions he has broken the doors of their minds, minds and heart. But you have to be Jigyasu. I had that thought at the back of my mind that if there is Krishna, he must be somewhere. That quest, that Jigyasa, that attitude of a seeker. When you seek him, you will see him. Jai Bhulu Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba Ji Ki Jai.